Political myths and conspiracy theories that will make you question everything. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe to Did You Know and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. When it comes to major events that change the course of history or questions that don't have full answers, you can usually bet there's a conspiracy theory around it. While some may have some validity to them, others are out of this world. From vaccines doing more harm than good to a race of reptilians pulling the strings of our world, here are some myths and conspiracy theories that will leave you dumbfounded in more ways than one. Theory: Americans are being poisoned by chemtrails. Chemtrails have been explained as harmless streams of visible vapor that are left behind by aircraft engine exhaust. While this may seem like a believable answer for the white streaks constantly filling the sky, some insist that they're much more sinister. Those who don't buy into the airplane exhaust explanation claim that chemtrails are the government visibly poisoning the American population with biological and chemical agents. They believe that the government is doing this in order to control the population or as a way to test biological and chemical weapons on the unknowing American public. They view it as the perfect government crime that has been right in front of our faces the entire time. Theory: AIDS was created by the CIA. Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome AIDS, is caused by the contraction of the human immunodeficiency virus HIV, usually through unprotected sex and intravenous drug use. It's a devastating illness that has been noticed to primarily affect groups such as homosexuals and other minority groups, particularly African Americans. After noticing this trend, people began to accept the possibility that AIDS was engineered by the CIA to target these individuals as a means for population control among these particular groups. Although it's clear that these groups tend to have higher infection rates, it's been chalked up to social and economic reasons rather than a government conspiracy, although not all are convinced. Theory: The moon landing was fake It wasn't long after Neil Armstrong first walked on the moon that conspiracies began to surface about the authenticity of the first moon landing. Some people remain doubtful that the United States ever really made it to the moon and that the whole thing was fabricated in order to make it look like we'd won the space race against the Soviet Union. Supposed evidence such as the shadows being slightly off, the lack of a crater where the ship landed, an apparent waving flag, and a lack of stars led people to believe that the video and pictures taken had been simulated. However, it's difficult to denounce the actuality of the moon landing since things are going to be a little bit different when you're on the moon. The JFK Assassination On November 22, 1964, President John F. Kennedy was assassinated as his motorcade passed through Daly Plaza in Dallas, Texas. He was hit with two bullets, one in the head and one through his neck. After Lee Harvey Oswald was caught and charged with the murder of the president, the case seemed closed. Yet a poll by ABC in 2003 showed that 70% of Americans felt that Kennedy's assassination wasn't as clear as it may have seemed. There were issues regarding the trajectory of the bullets as well as the motives for his murder. Some believe that it could have been executed by the CIA for Kennedy's decisions during the Cold War or by the Russians themselves. Either way, the exact answer has remained unclear and has made Kennedy's assassination the most questionable and discussed assassination to date. The New World Order is here The conspiracy of the New World Order is the belief that there is a secret power elite who have been conspiring to establish a totalitarian world government. It is assumed that institutions such as the Illuminati, NATO, the United Nations, the World Bank, and other organizations have been working behind the scenes to gain total control and manipulate world events. Many theorists suggest that there are clues all across the world and that members of the New World Order will ultimately trigger events that will lead to the end of the world as we know it. From there, the New World Order would rise from the ashes and rebuild society under their new domination. Although there are countless flaws in the overall conspiracy, changing believers' minds is unlikely. Theory. Global warming isn't real. Climate change denial is the conspiracy that the scientific claims, evidence, and logic that proves the existence of climate change has been tampered with and fabricated. Deniers believe that such evidence is made up in order for scientists to keep their funding or as a way to allow the government to control the people by setting new regulations on manufacturing. There's also no shortage of climate change deniers with Republican Senators James Inhofe claiming that climate change might be the biggest hoax ever perpetrated on the American people. Other known climate change deniers include President Donald Trump, who claims that global warming was created by the Chinese to make the U.S. manufacturing non-competitive. The Secrets of Area 51 Area 51 is a highly classified United States Air Force Base 
located 150 miles from Las Vegas, Nevada. Due to the secrecy surrounding the base, it's been believed to have acted as a government facility for the examination and research of extraterrestrial life and technology that's crash-landed on Earth. However, recently declassified documents have explained that the base was under such high security because it was a testing location for military spy planes and other black operations during the Cold War. Although this may be true, Area 51 conspiracy theorists still think there's a lot more going on underground in the base than we've been told. Theory the vaccine scandal after the introduction of vaccines to help combat numerous serious diseases people considered them to be a huge advancement in modern medicine however during the 1990s an anti-vaccine movement began to develop after sources claimed that there was a link between vaccinations and autism among children although this claim was found to be false more and more parents began choosing not to vaccinate their children with some of the vaccinated diseases making a comeback, it was believed that the vaccinations were actually putting their children at risk rather than helping them. Theorists suggest that the vaccines are the result of the government working together with the pharmaceutical companies by endorsing such vaccines in order to make a profit or other unknown agendas. Theory: The Holocaust was exaggerated Although it's a known fact that the Holocaust during World War II resulted in the extermination of over 6 million Jews, Unbelievably, some people still aren't entirely convinced. Apparently, ex-Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad declared that the Holocaust was a myth and insisted that other countries, aside from Palestine, should take responsibility for providing the land for a Jewish state. Furthermore, although less extreme, there are also Holocaust deniers that do not claim that the Holocaust was completely fabricated, but instead that it was largely exaggerated. However, they do deny the use of gas chambers and maintain that the pictures of thousands of corpses were people that had died of typhus. The Sandy Hook Conspiracy On December 14, 2012, 20 students and six staff members were murdered by Adam Lanza at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. Although it was pretty clear as to what had actually happened, the event spawned a series of conspiracy theories believed by those who felt that the response to the shooting was an attempt to take away their right on the Second Amendment. One theory claimed that the murder of all the children and staff was actually organized by the United States government as an extremely radical way to promote stricter gun laws on pro-gun activists. The other, a more absurd theory, supported by some, is that the entire thing was a hoax and that it was all completely staged with nobody ever dying. Theory: The Reptilian Elite The reptilian elite conspiracy is the belief that we are living among a breed of shape-shifting and genetically altered reptilian humanoids that secretly rule the world. Former BBC sports writer David Icke published this theory in his 1998 book, The Biggest Secret, and now an estimated 12 million Americans are on board with this conspiracy. Apparently, they have been controlling the human race since ancient times and that all politicians, celebrities, and members of the Illuminati and Freemasons are secretly reptilian humanoids controlling the Earth. However, their ultimate goal is still up for debate among believers, ranging from theories that they are trying to stabilize the atmosphere of their own planet, ensuring chaos in the fourth dimension, or feeding their innate need for power and control. Water Fluoridation the water fluoridation controversy is about the public concern of the fluoridation of public water supplies. Although health authorities claim that water fluoridation at certain measurements can help to prevent dental decay and promote sanitation, not everyone is happy with the idea. Some choose to believe that water fluoridation is just a cover-up for the government to taint the water supply in the form of fluoride in order to run tests on the public. This was a major issue back in the 1950s and people believed that substances were being added to the water for mind control purposes by the Soviets. Today, although some are just focused on the health concerns, others believe there's more to worry about than that. The Mysteries Behind 9-11 The terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001 were life-changing, not just for Americans but for people all over the world. While it's widely accepted that the attacks were orchestrated by the terrorist group Al-Qaeda, others weren't so easily convinced. There have been countless documentaries and books about the possibility of 9-11 being an inside job coordinated by the United States government. While some believe that the United States government had prior information about the attacks, others claim that the attacks were carried out by the government. This way, they could put the blame on the Middle East as a way to infuriate the public and a reason to go to war. Although it's been years since the attacks and most theories have been debunked, some people remain unconvinced. The Flat Earth Theory Modern flat earth societies are people that insist that the world is truly flat and that we've been deceived into thinking there's an actual sphere. Although this was once a common thought, it was eventually proven otherwise, yet made a reappearance in the mid-20th century. 
Now it's even more prominent with the help of social media and internet platforms such as YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook that have helped to increase Flat Earth Society's reach to others around the world to increase their following and attempt to convince others that the Earth isn't a sphere. These ideals are usually based on pseudoscience and religious beliefs. Theory An Attempt to Kill Drinkers During the days of prohibition, although alcohol was banned, people still had ways of getting their hands on precious booze, speakeasies were huge, and the government was having a hard time cracking down on alcohol consumption. So they decided to try a new tactic. Since most illegally manufactured alcohol came from industrial alcohol, the Treasury Department supposedly began poisoning the country's industrial alcohol supplies. Their goal was to dissuade bootleggers from stealing it and redistilling it to make liquor. However, when bootleggers realized something was wrong with their supply, they found ways to make it drinkable once again. So the government began poisoning it even more with kerosene, gasoline, chloroform, and more. This allegedly continued until the 18th Amendment was repealed in 1933 and was brushed under the rug by the government. Birtherism Birtherism refers to the movement that started in the United States, which claimed that President Barack Obama is not a natural-born United States citizen and therefore not eligible to be President of the United States. Even though Barack Obama provided evidence of his birth certificate that he was born in Hawaii, people still haven't backed off their claim that he's not a legal United States citizen. President Donald Trump was a major proponent of this theory, which is still brought up by some of his major supporters today. Also, just as people believe Obama isn't a citizen, they also claim that he's not a Protestant Christian, but really a Muslim, which created further controversy. Theory: FDR and his administration knew about the Pearl Harbor attacks. On December 7, 1941, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, killing 2,400 American troops and destroying numerous aircraft carriers and military vessels. Up until then, the United States had managed to stay out of World War II, yet the attack on Pearl Harbor sparked a war effort among the American public and led to FDR making the decision to join the Allied forces in the fight against the Axis powers. However, some believe that FDR may have known about the potential attack on Pearl Harbor days before, pushing the United States to become involved in the war. Apparently, FDR and his administration were notified of the possibility of Hawaii being a target, but didn't take it seriously, thinking that it would have been impossible for Japan to move their troops from Japan to Hawaii without being noticed. Also, there were no immediate benefits of the United States becoming involved in the war. Big Pharma has more answers than we think. When it comes to pharmaceutical drugs and Big Pharma, it's not uncommon for people to raise an eyebrow at the trillion-dollar industry. So naturally, there are numerous conspiracy theories that focus on Big Pharma and the role that it plays in our economy and society. One of the most popular conspiracies is that Big Pharma is withholding cures for various diseases. Some people believe that Big Pharma tries to keep people getting sick in order to keep the power they have over the public, as well as the economic monopoly it has on the health industry. Although pharmaceutical companies would most likely make more money if they release the cures, people just love to hate them. Pro was spying on Martin Luther King. COINTELPRO is an acronym for the counterintelligence program, which was allegedly put to use by the FBI during the Second Red Scare. Its goal was to target various groups deemed dangerous such as the Communist Party, the KKK, leaders of civil rights movements, and more. It's also believed that Dr. Martin Luther King was a primary focus of COINTELPRO. Apparently, after he delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech at the March on Washington, he was considered an unofficial enemy of the state. He was then endlessly followed and had his phones tapped. He was even blackmailed by the FBI when they learned about his infidelity. However, COINTELPRO was shut down in 1971, although the FBI supposedly still keeps secretive tabs on particular groups. A Fake Testimony In 1990, a 15-year-old girl from Kuwait who went by Naira testified to Congress that she'd witnessed Iraqi soldiers murdering infants outside a hospital. A later discovery suggested that the PR company Hill & Knowlton had organized the girl's testimony for a client of theirs that went by Free Kuwait. By doing this, it appeared that Free Kuwait was hoping to push the United States' involvement in the Persian Gulf War. And it was also discovered that Naira was even the daughter of Kuwait's ambassador to the U.S. However, although Naira's testimony was aimed to increase support for the Persian Gulf War, it's been acknowledged that the United States would still have been become involved without her testimony.